Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to mark your 48 inch half inch gauge um, universal S loom by Cindy Woodcrafts for the rib stitch. Now it will automatically come marked for the figure eight stitch. The rib stitch is different and how the rib stitch turns out, let me grab this and I can show you. This is how the rib stitch turns out. You have this ribs all the way through it. Now this, I'm doing a pattern. I'm doing something different. But this bottom part right here, you'll have just these wonderful ribs. So you can do blankets, you can do scarves. There's lots of really neat things you can do using that stitch. Okay, so the pegs, sorry, I'm trying to get my chair back up here. <laughs> the pegs that you mark to do this stitch are the ones that I've marked black. Now there's three pegs on each side that come whatever color you choose. And then you're gonna have a black peg on one side. This one, since I have the pegs blue, it's just marked black on the top. That is what I count as peg one. So I will go through and I will tell you what number of pegs you skip and then you do the one side and you do the other side the exact same. So you pay, skip three, wait, yeah. No, <laughs> you skip peg four, peg seven, peg 12, 15, 20, 23, 26, 31, 34, 37, 40, and peg 45. Now if you flip it to the opposite side, you will count from that same first peg. It won't be black on both sides, uh, but you count from it. So one, two, three, peg four, five, six, seven, and it's the exact same. It just mirrors. That way, if there's, if you use a yarn, like if I would make something with this, this is like a size three, I'd say. Um, if I would do just single strand of a size three on this, it'd be a lot thinner. So where you skip the pegs, it'll show up a little more. But typically, you're really you're not going to ever be able to notice it, just the way everything stretches out. But if you can, it's the same on both sides, so it looks like it's supposed to be that way. All right, now how you wrap your peg? Let me move something out of the way. You wrap your peg one, then you go up, wrap two pegs, go down, wrap two pegs, go up, wrap two pegs, and as you come to pegs that have been marked, you skip those pegs. Just the ones you marked, not the original marked pegs that the loom comes with. And when you get over to this other side, what you do at this point is you take and you push down all the yarn on the entire loom. I'm just gonna do this one little side, but you just take through the whole loom and push down all the yarn lower on the peg. And then you flip it around and then you start wrapping again and you wrap it in the exact same exact same way that you'd wrapped it before. So let me do a little bit of this and show you what it will look like. Oops. Okay. See, it'll be a mirror image. It'll be the exact same way. And you'll do that all the way to the other end. And then at that point, you take your loom hook and you take that bottom loop over top the top loop for every single peg on the loom that has yarn on it, obviously. And then you push them down, you wrap it again, and you just keep repeating that process until the blanket is the length you want. And then you cast off, which there are different videos to show you how to cast off. But that's all there is to it. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. Uh, the peg numbers that you do make that you do mark are wrote in the description below. So any questions at all, again, don't hesitate to ask. And thank you for watching.